everybody and welcome back to the channel and if you're here for the very first time it's an absolute pleasure to meet you. I'm Jane, my husband Mike is behind the camera and he does everything behind the camera. We're British, early retirees, we've paid off the mortgage, we've got no debt and we live a thrifty, frugal and money-saving life here in Brittany in northwest France. And every Wednesday, we open our doors and invite you in for a midweek money chat. Now, this week's particularly pertinent. We want to talk to you about Thriftmas. Christmas creeps up really soon, doesn't it? I mean, it's just like it feels like the school summer holidays are over, the leaves start falling off the trees. The next thing you know, you've got Mariah Carey singing to you, haven't you? Christmas just arrives. Now, Christmas is a really important time of year for charities and for fundraising. And that's what I want to talk to you about today, because it can feel a big pressure on some of us who give in a certain way. Now, I know some of you set up a regular amount of money that you donate every single month. And some of us do that differently. I'm I'm speaking personally here, but this time of year is the time of year that we do a lot of making and a lot of donating and a lot of giving. So I want to talk to you about that today. So it isn't one like big chunk of money going out of your account and talk about thriftness and ways that's really helpful for not only charities raising money, but for those people who might be using those thrift stores, those charity stores at Christmas time. <laughs> I want to share with you is pertinent to those of you who have children or have grandchildren. In November and obviously early December, families are out there looking for things for their children. So the first thing I want you to do if you've got children of your own or if you have grandchildren is to start thinking about those toys, those maybe a bike, maybe the scooter or anything that your children or grandchildren play with that they've kind of grown out of or they're not playing with so much anymore. And that's the first thing that you can have a really good clear out. Now you may have a local charity or a local charity shop that is dear to you. It's a fundraising organisation that means something to you personally. Now I know these exist here and I'm in France and I know that they exist in the UK, but there are charities that will give toys and items for children to families in need. Um, we've got Secours Public and Secours Catholique here. Um, we have resourceries and places like that. So we have places like Emmaus where families can go if they are in need and they want things for their children. So for example, when the children go back to school, they do a big drive for pencil cases, school bags, stationery, unused um, school books for the children to write in for example and at this time of year they are really looking for those donations of toys of games of bicycles of scooties dolls dolls clothes all of those things for children so there's the first one if you've got children or if you've got grandchildren and there are things that don't play it with anymore can you have a really good clear out send them to the thrift store of your choice or the charity of your choice who, who can and do give them to families in need. The next one I want you to have a really good clear out of is do you have any nice clothes? What I mean by that is special occasion clothes, going out clothes. Did you buy an outfit for a wedding or an engagement party or a Christmas party last year. You've only worn it maybe the once or twice. Maybe you bought it from a charity shop yourself. And maybe, you know, it was a bit tight or you didn't like it very much, but you want to pass it on. And here are the reasons why. People are going to have work dues, Christmas dues. They may feel obliged to go to these, and that is the case that people might feel obliged to go to this. It's going to be, you know, they, their employer might have put this on for them to go to. It might be something that is paid for, but then it is the difficult part for people. What do I wear? 
Guys, if you are watching this and you've got a smart shirt, that tie your auntie, your granny, your mum gave you that you don't wear much anymore, that sports jacket you think, well, I've you know put on a bit of timber here and it's not fitting me much anymore, can you please consider donating your smart clothes? Not only for times like this, though when you've got Christmas parties and things coming up, but people who are gonna have interviews as well. People who maybe want to get another job for this time of year and need something smart to put on to go along to the interview. So there's a funny one you may not have thought of. Can you go and have a look out for your smart clothes, your costume jewelry, those bits and pieces, that pretty scarf. I mean, I'm, I'm always rotating the clothes that I buy and I'm always passing them onto my local favourite charity shop. But can you have a look? Have you got any smart clothes or Christmassy clothes or party clothes that you can pass on? You may or may not have seen the trend that was around last Christmas and it's something that's gone on and it does seem, it's quite cute. It's not for me personally, but it is quite cute that families get together and wear Christmas pajamas. They put them on on Christmas Eve, they all take their photographs with it. So if you have any Christmas pajamas that you don't like, that maybe were given to you as a gift that you can pass on, or children's Christmas pajamas, it is a thing that people like to buy them as well. So that's something else that's really good to donate. Wash them, dry them, iron them, pass them on, Christmas pajamas. The next one, if you have any to pass them on as well, are Christmas jumpers, or what do you call them, Mike? Christmas blooming jumpers. He didn't say that before. He yes, said something. I did. <laughs> he said something else. Christmas jumpers. Now in the UK, having a Christmas jumper day, whether at school, at work, at college or somewhere like that is a big fundraising thing at Christmas time. You go in, you wear your Christmas jumper, you make a donation to a charity of the school or workplace's choice. And because of this, the charity shops in turn like to collect in Christmas jumpers that they can sell and it, in turn it all raises money for charity. So. It's a great place to buy your Christmas jumper because the charity raises money. And then you can wear it to work on Christmas jumper day and then you can donate it back again. So there's another thing that's really handy if you do donate uh, is, a, R -A, is a Christmas jumper. Now, if you watched my Vlogmas last year, you'll know that all my Christmas decorations last year, I bought from our local charity shop. So there's a really great thing for you to donate. Helps, helps you declutter. You can also buy different ones from the charity shop. And people like me who like to donate to the charity shop, a bit of thrift mass can go ahead and buy them. So look early because they'll start getting all their Christmas stock out any day soon. Beginning of November, boom, the charity shops will be Christmas fundraising. So have a look through your decorations. Are there ones that you think, mm, not too keen on these, I might like to swap it up a bit. Donate your Christmas decorations. And the other part of that is, if you have somewhere which is a charity or an organisation that doesn't actually sell it, that can actually give these to families who actually need them, who haven't got any money at all. Choose that, maybe that's where you want to donate them. But turn out your Christmas decorations, they're a great thing to give as part of Thriftmas. The next Thriftmas is something that you can either donate or prepare for and buy. And I love this one, it's the book advent. And if you've not heard of it, so if you've got your children and they're young and they can read a small book a day, and a lovely thing to do is to have 24 books that you can have got from a charity shop, and then they are wrapped up, and each day they will unwrap their secondhand book from the charity shop, sit and read their book, whether it's to do with Christmas or not, is up to you. But it's that little book that they can read each day up until Christmas and it's part of their Advent celebration. So there's another one. 
Do you have books to donate at Christmas time? It's something that we do. We kind of hibernate over the winter. It, it gets dark here at sort of five o'clock in the evening and it's not light again till like 9.30 the next morning. We've got that kind of feeling of hibernation and snuggling in and lots and lots more reading. So if you've got books and you've read them, go on, have a really good clear out because people like Mike and I buy more books and the charities who have Christmas fairs especially. And if you have a local school who has a Christmas fair, they're always looking for books for the bookstore. Great thing to buy to thrift. We only buy secondhand books. So that's a thrifty thing we buy from the thrift store or you can give for Thriftmas. <laughs> charity stores or thrift stores or just charities in general who give clothing or items away. They tend to be given items at the end of the season when they actually need them at the beginning of the season. So here is something else that is a really good thing to do at this time of year is to check through warm clothing whether it's a fleece, whether it's winter jumpers, especially winter coats waterproof coats, waterproof and warm coats for children, hats, scarves, gloves, all of those things. They're a really good thing to donate to thrift stores or to charities who give these away. Clothing banks, food banks often have clothing banks attached to them, a really good thing to donate at this time of year because we kind of think about giving these things away in spring when we don't want that winter coat anymore. But have a look through, maybe you've got one, maybe you haven't. It's a super way, part of Thriftmas, part of the fundraising for the charity shops because people are looking for those as it's starting to get colder. So just a few ideas for you today to throw it out there about fundraising and charities and Thriftmas, whether you're buying it or donating it. Um, Mike and I are involved with a very small local charity who raise money for animals in need called Les Pousses and I'm part of their craft group and we're already making things to sell at the Christmas fair. So those charities are very much actively looking for donations right now in Ready for Christmas time because it's their biggest fundraising time of the year. And just because you're frugal, it doesn't mean to say that you can't be generous and that you don't think of others. But there are thrifty, frugal and money-saving ways to be generous. And like I said to you, have a good look around your house. Are there things that you can donate at this time of year? Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video today, go on, hit the thumbs up button. Leave me a comment. Are you involved with a local charity or do you know of a local charity store? I know some of you have some charities that are very dear to your heart that are actively fundraising. And what are they looking for at this time of year that people could donate to help them raise money for their charity? Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. Bye for now. Thank you.